For Doctora Exigua, commonly known as Rosquilla Verde in Spain or Gusano Soldado in Latin America, and Beet Armyworm in the A and other English English speaking countries, is a Lepidoptera which belongs to the superfamily of the Noctuidae. This is a migratory plague of a polyphagous nature which causes it to affect horticultural produce such as peppers, tomatoes, aubergines, cucumbers, beans, watermelons and other plants. The worm is extremely fertile throughout seasons of warm temperatures and as a result is able to lay up to 1,700 eggs the level of fertility decreasing in the cold season to around 500 eggs. The eggs are laid mainly on the underneath part of the leaves. Once emergence occurs, the larvae immediately begin to eat the newly formed leaves and flowers, moving together in first phase clusters. However, throughout their development, they separate themselves and continue to devour both leaves and fruit. At the end of the larvae cycle, the larvae drop down or allow themselves to fall onto the ground in order to pupate, burying themselves in the shallow ground and forming a silky cocoon. The length of the chrysalis depends on the, on the temperature and from this point onwards, the new adults emerge, cycle or generation begins. The length of the complete cycle will vary according to atmospheric conditions. However, the cycle will be between, between 30 to 40 days. The damage produced due to feeding can be recognized as holes chewed in leaves, flowers, and also fruit. Damage to leaves can be observed as perforations, which are almost circular in shape, are found in the blade, blade, or edge of the leaf can be located in the area of the leaf veins. The small caterpillars only eat the parenchyma of the leaf, leaving behind the epidermis. However, the larger caterpillars cause a decrease in the size of the surface area of the leaf, which in turn will affect the vegetative growth of the plant. Fruit damage is extremely significant with regard to pepper and watermelon crops. Perforations are produced in the pepper from the point at which the caterpillars are entrance. They feed inside the pepper, which causes rotting. And with regard to watermelons, the caterpillars cause superficial gnawing of the fruit. As a preventative measure, it is important to take care in the first phenological stages of plant growth, especially by carefully eliminating the remains of prior crops and weeds. It is also important to place nets over the strips of ground used in order to prevent the possible entrance of butterflies. The use of light traps and pheromones can also help to control the adults. With respect to control, the use, the use of applications which reach the underneath parts of the leaves is highly recommended. These should be made with active materials such as indoxicarb, lefenuron and spinosad. Biological control can be undertaken with applications of Bacillus thuringiensis and with the use of nuclear polyhydrosis virus for the control of Spodoptera during the egg-laying egg -laying stage or the first larvae stage. This treatment should be repeated every seven days. 
taking into account any natural enemies and the effects caused by general predators.